Say you're watching a basketball game, and during a rapid series of events, a player commits a hard foul. You think, it's a fast game and things happen. But when you cut to the slow motion replay, you yell, that's nonsense. He obviously intended to injure someone. Our research investigated this experience. People who watched slow motion videos thought that the actions were more intentional than those who watched at a regular speed. Our paper, linked here, discusses why this is more than just a psychological curiosity. People now have high-quality cameras in their pockets, making it increasingly likely that their actions are recorded. We discuss one case in which the jury decided a defendant was guilty of first-degree intentional murder and not second-degree non-intentional murder. Was the slow-motion surveillance tape prejudicial? Maybe not. After all, the jurors knew they were watching it in slow motion and knew exactly how many seconds the actions took. We find that this sort of knowledge can reduce, but not completely eliminate the effect. As the viewer of a slow motion video, you can't help but be consumed by the experience that you're having in the moment. Even if you know that the actions only took a few seconds, if that time is stretched out for you in slow motion, it's hard not to feel like the person didn't have more time to think and more time to make a different decision. It just feels more intentional. That's not to say that slow motion isn't useful. It can help us, for example, figure out which player touched the ball last before it went out of bounds. But it's not clear that it gives us better insight into the intentions of another person, because the psychology is driven by the experience of the viewer and not the content of the video. Videos can provide a more reliable record of events than, say, an eyewitness testimony, but our research shows one way that videos are a version of the truth and not necessarily the truth.